Thanks for joining us on our daily walk through God's Word. Uh, today we're walking on a bridge on the south side of our campus that connects our campus with uh, a family who's a member of our congregation, the Krills, some of you know, good friends. The reason why I'm on this bridge is in our Old Testament lesson, chapters 37 and 38 of Isaiah, we are on the historic bridge. So Isaiah chapter 1 through 36, the focus is on uh, Assyria is the world power that is threatening God's people. And the last half of Isaiah is going to be uh, a focus on Babylon that will eventually take God's people off into exile. And so this gives us some historic background. And as you read these two chapters, chapters uh, 37 and 38, you're going to see that Hezekiah had a 2020 kind of year. Not only did he have the Assyrians coming and attacking him and threatening Jerusalem, but he also had a life-threatening disease all in the same year. And both times, he brings those issues to the Lord in prayer, and God graciously rescues him. Isn't that a great history lesson for us to remember uh, in this kind of year for us. The New Testament lesson is Titus chapter 2 verse 11 through the end of that short little book. And there too is this idea of a bridge. That God's grace is the bridge that allows us to cross over from, from judgment to a, a life that will never end. And, and that promise is certainly recorded for us in God's Word. But I especially appreciate that the Apostle Paul, as he writes to Titus, reminds us of, of the waters of baptism and how in baptism all the sin and guilt, all the dead parts of our lives, that in the waters of baptism, It's all washed away.